Hello again, everybody. Welcome to Wednesday, the 11th of September. It's Barry Beer and Kip with you this evening on the show. And welcome to all of you here tonight, and especially those that are watching around Australia and all over the globe. Well, tonight we've got a big show coming up for you, so grab yourself a nice healthy dinner and sit back and relax, because here we go with tonight's show. Welcome to tonight's show. Tonight on the show, we'd like to open with 12-year-old boys deliberately lighting bushfires. That's disgusting. And here with his opening quote and disappointing quote on people deliberately lighting bushfires, here's my offsider. Good evening to you and welcome. Thanks for joining me here in the studio tonight. Thank you, uh, Barry Fear, for welcoming us back into the studio. Um, yeah, like Barry says, opening message about the 12 years old, he's lighting the fire, and that caused a, a lot of uh, bushfires around Australia. And um, yeah, uh, we're going to talk about that topic and we looking forward to, to talk to you guys and hopefully that will come across all around the globe to warning everybody for the what they the way they've done is not good not good for the for the environment not good for the families and, and friends and everyone so our opening message tonight Please don't be a fire arsonist and light fires because it destroys people's properties and the bush and their livestock and the cars. Here's my offside. Yeah. Before you before you thinking to do something stupid, you gotta think about wider community not by yourself you got to think about the wider community it may affect the little thing you done it will cause a lot of problem like the 12 years old boys light the fire small fire create a big mess so it's, it's coming into the warmer months now and we are already in the grip of a hot summer. So if you throw a lit cigarette out the window and you will know about it, here's my offside. Especially, um, it didn't have much rain uh, this season and um, didn't have much luck to rain. And uh, if you throw any spark of fire out, it will light the fire show because the land will still dry and yeah, that's going to start the fire. Because it only takes one second for a lit cigarette. So if you are in your car and driving along bush, bush land or in bush land on the road, don't be a fire bug and throw your lit cigarette out because that my offside is said bush fires can cause a lot of damage keep my offside for his quote on what I've just said to you if you was out there watching this video yeah um, what Barry's saying about cause a lot of problem a lot of damage Look at now, people, they lost their home, lost their property, their farms, you name it, what you think they feel. So let us know what you 
think about people writing bushfires in the comment section below on your channel because I can tell you viewers bushfires are not nice here's my offsider terrible thing to hear terrible because when you lost your house it's gonna be a lot of rebuild and it's not a good sign not a good for the families it's no fun Prepare yourself to leave your home if it is in danger of the bushfires coming close to your home and hose down the roof and gutters. Here's my offside. Yeah, you've got to be prepared if, if the fire gets close to your house. If it's dangerous, please leave the house. And obey orders from the police and the state emergency services to over the season because if you live in the bush you have to be prepared otherwise it's too late because it is your own life that you are putting at risk here's my offside that's right you got to listen to the instruction what the uh, fire break or the police or however instruction in that fire uh, bushfire you gotta listen if they tell you to evacuate and leave the place better do it don't worry about anything else just help your family get together and leave the, leave the place it's also very important to have had the necessary essentials packed such as canned food, bread, water, a first aid kit, a portable radio, a first aid kit, blankets, clothes, etc. Spare batteries for the radio and torch. Here's my offside. Yep, that's all the necessary stuff. You gotta look up. Back, get ready. When the time is time to go, you gotta go. You gotta move. Because, uh, because as we said, bushfires, they can kill pump and animals. Here's my offside. Like they're saying, bushfire can kill anything, burn anything. And right. even your vehicle, so your car, your house. Get, get the hell out of there quick. Get the family in the car and go to the nearest evacuation centre that is set up, whether it's at an RSL club or a community centre or even a hospital. Here's my offside. Yeah, you're gonna leave straight away. You're a safe place to look after your family. Don't worry about anything else. You gotta yeah. move. And when we say move, move. Because it, uh, it only takes one second for everything to go bang! See? It's my offside. My the fire, if the fire turns around and go, that means the fire will go. It will go at a hundred miles an hour. I'm and telling you, especially in the heavy wind. And bang! Yeah. Listen to the radio reports of total fire bans as well and road closures. Here's my offside. Yeah. Like we always say, you gotta listen, you gotta be obeyed to the law or the, whoever they tell you what to do. If they say stop, you stop. If they say move, you move. Because you must remember guys that when, when danger is upon you, 
You've got to act quickly. Move yourselves. Get your, your possessions packed and the family packed in the car and get out of there. The sooner you leave, the better. Here's my offer. Yeah. The, the, the sooner you move, the better for you and better for everyone. You don't have to worry about, oh, come on, let's go, let's go. And he's too late. That's uh, what happened. So don't dawdle, don't muck around, guys. Get the family in the car. Get them to a safe place like a community centre. And as you've been hearing in the news, lots of bushfires burning up north, especially in Queensland. And as we said at the beginning of the program, a 12-year-old kid deliberately lighting bushfires. Isn't that disgusting? Here's my offside and play his quote on this. Yeah, that's a warning to all the young kids uh, out there, you know, they might think it's funny to, write, to light a lighter or, or light a piece of paper and throw it in a bush. Please, it's a warning for you guys, please don't be do a stupid thing and cause a lot of damage for other people as well. Because if you do the crime, kids, you have to face the consequences. Now, another thing that happened this week, somebody was glassed and just literally threw a glass at the manager at a restaurant. Now, that is absolutely terrible. Here's my outsider for his view on this. Yeah, and so... Um it's hard to say about the story because you know it's uh, it's going to be a two-way story. It's not a one-way, uh, but you know it's very disgusting to see people that go out and, and throw glass in the window or, or the manager or whatever. Especially in the restaurant, There's a lot of people in the restaurant, a lot of kids. You know they injured a lot of people in there. If you throw a glass, you know it's broken glass. And then don't use your piss as a punching bag and go boom, 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 or just throw the glass because it's not going to solve the issue or the problem or diffuse the problem is what we're looking for here tonight on the show. Here's my offside. Yeah, that's right. You know, we always talk to you guys, especially Barry, you always talk to you guys about don't use your fist to be punching you, you know, because it's not your your your, your body your body is not a punching bag. You know? Because your hands are there to help people, not to fight with. Please don't do that. Because the one punch attack, guys, could really injure somebody or cause them death. And then the police had to knock on the kids or her mum's door to say that their son or daughter is now fighting for life in, in a hospital. And we don't want to have to say this on this show, but it's important that you listen to what we are saying on this video tonight. Here's my offside. That's right. <clears throat> I agree with Barry about the name. I'll go to the public and then, you know, and cause trouble and fight. You no, know, you don't want to see the police knocking on your family's door and tell them you're in the hospital or you're in a critical condition, you know, and... Or, and, or dead, deceased. Or dead, that's right. Because you don't know because you only have the one life, guys, so please don't be an idiot out in public. Please, we are urging you. 
And those of you that are watching this video tonight, please watch it very closely, especially the children. Here's my offside. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you're going to be a, so, a very good example for the for the young kids, you know, and the, the young youth. And you got to say, say some example for people around around you or in public as well, you know, you got to be very 100% behavior, good behavior in public as well. We are sorry to have started the show on a negative note, but after what's been happening in the news lately, especially that young falling in there, deliberately liking that push fire and we just can't believe that and here's my offside. Yeah, like Barry say, you know, but we have to get it out. We have to say it for the people to listen, to hear about what our point of view of what young people they're being stupid and being uh, causing a lot of damage from people's home or property or whatever. That's what we're talking about. So if you'd like to comment on tonight's show, please do so because it might help save, you, save your loved one or your son or daughter. Here's my offside. Yeah, like, you know, exactly you're right there. And so um, if you want to say anything or you want to talk to us, please. Drop a comment there and say you agree or disagree, but you know, there's only one way that we try to get across the international about what we're trying to say for people that are being sad and stupid and do some stupid stuff and cause a lot of damage to other people. Um, whatever. And before we close tonight's program, the number that we always rely on 24 hours a day. Do not ring triple zero unless you have a time critical emergency. Please save that number for emergency because with the bushfire season well up on us now, please save that number or emergencies, and here's my outside. Yeah. <clears throat> we talked to you guys about um, calling Trooper Zero. You think, guys, that we keep talking to you because of any reason, but we're talking about Trooper Zero because it's a very important number for people that need our, they need their help. And don't take away the fire is all the police or the ambulance either because they have stretched to the limit, especially with the bushfires that are happening up north, especially in Queensland. So don't make a prank dribble or call, please, anyone, and take the fire is all the ambulance all the police away from real emergencies. Yeah. Here's my offside. Yeah, it's um, especially this time, like I say, this is a very busy time for the firefighter and the trooper zero because every because their eyes on the fire and the people they need help, people they in a critical condition. They are there to support and help those people in need. And please don't call them Drupal Zero. It's a stupid thing. Just call them if someone in the family was in an emergency. Or, or, or anything. But really think, guys, is your urgency an emergency? Please, we'd like you to think about it. Well, we're just about out of time here on this very important show. 
But um, one more thing before we do go. We open the show with that 12-year-old kid deliberately lighting that bushfire, which really did disgust me. And please, like we said, comment on this video because it may save a life. Here's my upside of point his closing message now. Yeah, uh, that's his uh, final message to you guys tonight about calling Drupal Zero and about the 12 years, about 12 years old kid. Um, light the fire, please be careful out there and listen to your parents. Yeah, that's what we need to, to tell you guys to be okay and listen. And keep matches and kerosene out of breach of children and do not light your barbecue on a, on a, a day where there is a total fire ban because this is how bushfires also start because if the wind goes in the wrong direction, kabang! Combined. Leaps. And yeah, 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 home is gone in second. That's it. Here's my upside of his second closing message. You gotta be listening to everyone and please be stay safe, especially those area in the fire. Please stay safe and if you need to move, you gotta move. We cannot say this enough on the show. Please prepare yourself and have everything that you need to take with you in case you have to base yourself somewhere for the next couple of days. And don't go into a burning building on any account. Make sure that you and your family and your friends and your pets are accounted for when the person doing the roll call. Because if the fire alarm goes off, get out of the building as quick as you can. Here's my upside. Yeah, when you hear that word fire, when they say to you to move, the fire doesn't wait. That's a warning for you guys. What a move. And we really do mean this, guys. That's right. And our closing message is daylight saving coming up on the 6th of October, which is a Sunday, so we will talk to you more about daylight saving on the next program, but that's all. We have got time for tonight on this very important show. Thanks for watching our important show tonight on this bushfire crisis. And if lives are in danger, please call triple zero, but only if it's an emergency and well, I hope this video will help save a life and give my oxide and now for his last closing message now. Thank you guys for listening to us and watching our show and um, hopefully you guys uh, hear what we're saying and please be careful out there and especially people of the effect that we've fire in uh, Queensland. And please stay safe and we hope that you guys in a good uh, position right now to be safe and sound. And uh, yeah, hope you have a great night and enjoy. Um, have a warm, warm day. And also, if the roads are closed due to the bushfires, please do not drive back. Ring the police and ask if the roads are open, but if not, 
you will have to take an alternate route or put off your trip until the bushfires have subsided. And this is where with, I'd like to conclude tonight's show by saying that and here's my upside to comment on what I've just said before we say goodnight to you for this Wednesday evening. <coughs> yeah, that's all what you say with Barry, you know, I agree what Barry's all um, I'm talking about and that's what we try to come across to let you guys know and um, hope you guys listen and, and learn what we what Barry was mentioned and myself. Like, thank you. So thank you for for watching this all important show tonight. And we know it's disturbing guys, but we had to get the message out there, especially with the summer weather approaching and it is warm at warm. So please as we said at the beginning of the program, don't be a fire bug. Fire bug and get yourself arrested or throw a lit cigarette out of the car window because that's how a bushfire can start and it can go bang in a matter of seconds. Here's my upside yeah. now for this. Yeah, that's what they say. You gotta move, you gotta move. If not, you gotta be bang and flip. Well, that's if you drive too fast. And there we, there you have it. The Wednesday show for the 11th of September. Thanks for joining us. Tonight, guys, the time is 7.30. It is time for us to say goodnight to you now. And here's my outsider for his closing message and good night. Good night, everybody, and thank you for listening to us and hear what we say. And hopefully we'll be here some comment and, uh, from you guys. And thank you and good night. And we'll see you next week with an, with a daylight saving reminder to a more spring ideas. But until then, guys, from myself, Barry Pierre, and Kid H, we wish you a very good night and have a happy day tomorrow. Good night, everybody. And thanks for watching. Good night. Have a nice rest. And we'll see you next time. Good night, everyone. Good night.